بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I once read a story about a simple fisherman who one day when he was cleaning the fish that he caught found a big beautiful pearl in the middle of the fish. He became very happy and excited and he shared the news with his wife. His wife was ecstatic and she suggested to him that he go to his friend who was a jeweler and sell this pearl so that they could finally be financially independent. So the fisherman took the pearl to his friend, the jeweler, and he suggested or he offered to sell the pearl to his friend. His friend was amazed at how beautiful this pearl was, but he declined to buy it. He told the fisherman that even if he were to sell his shop and his home, he would still not be able to afford this pearl. Instead, he suggested that the fisherman take the pearl to the wealthiest man in the city and offer to sell it to him. So the man took the pearl to the wealthiest man in the village in the city and he offered to sell it to him. The wealthy man was amazed at how beautiful this pearl was, and he agreed to buy it. He told the fisherman that he would allow him to enter into his massive vault and to spend six hours there collecting whatever he wanted in return for the pearl. So the wealthy man's guards escorted the fisherman to the vault, and he entered into the vault. He looked around in amazement at what he saw, a massive vault which contained three sections. One section contained all kinds of precious jewels, stones, coins, and gold. The second section contained all types of beautiful furniture, comfortable bedding. And the third section contained a large, massive table filled with all kinds of fruits and vegetables, food and drink. So as the fisherman was looking around, he decided that he would go first to the third section, which contained the food, so that he can eat and drink and gain enough energy to collect as many valuables as he could. So he went and he began to eat and drink. He spent a couple of hours eating and drinking until he was absolutely full. Afterwards, he proceeded towards the first section with the jewels and decided that he would gather whatever he could. But he passed by the section with beautiful and comfortable furniture and he couldn't resist. What a comfortable bed. What a beautiful furniture. If he reasoned, if I take a short nap here, then I will have gained energy and I can collect as many valuables as I want. So he found the biggest bed and soon. He was fast asleep, snoring away. He then suddenly found himself being violently shaken awake. He opened his eyes and he saw the guards standing and yelling, it's time for you to leave, your time is up. The man tried to explain, I still have time. But when he looked at his watch, indeed, he found that his six hours was completely up. So the guards, they grabbed him, they dragged him, and they threw him outside of the vault. He had given up his pearl and he had left the vault empty-handed. God has given each and every one of us a priceless pearl, and that is our soul. Imam Ali alayhi salam reminds us, he says, إِنَّهُ لَيْسَ لِأَنفُسِكُمْ ثَمَنٌ إِلَّا الْجَنَّةِ فَلَا تَبِعُوهَا إِلَّا بِهَا He says the value, the price of your soul is nothing short of paradise. So do not sell your soul for anything less than the price of paradise. God has given each and every one of us a specific amount of time in this world. And it's up to us to ask ourselves constantly, what am I doing with my time? What am I doing with my priceless pearl? Am I taking advantage of my time? Am I making sure that I'm developing my soul, nurturing my soul, or God forbid, am I wasting my time away? Am I shortchanging myself by wasting this pearl with things that have no ultimate value? Am I nurturing my soul with prayer, with supplication, with charity, with helping others, with uplifting my community, 
or God forbid, am I engrossed fully in temporary delights and pleasures, things that don't add value to my soul. It's important for us to always think about what we're doing with this gift that God has given us with our time on earth and that we refocus our efforts to make sure that we are nurturing our souls and that we are adding value to our souls so that we may be among those whom God describes. He says in the Quran, إِنَّ اللَّهَ اشْتَرَى مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ أَنفُسَهُمْ وَأَمْوَالَهُمْ بِأَنَّ لَهُمُ الْجَنَّةِ God has purchased from the believers their souls and their wealth in return for paradise. It's important for us to think about this question. What am I doing with my priceless pearl? I ask God to give us all the success to be able to take advantage of our time here on earth and to nurture our souls and to build it for that ultimate reward, which is paradise from God. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.